Yo, what's good guys? Ryan Hodge from FantasyLabs.com here, and I wanted to make a quick video going over probably one of the most frequently asked questions that I get. How do I export or import my lineups to DraftKings, or what do I do if I want to reserve my contest and then make my lineups, or what do I do when I'm using the optimizer and then I need to enter my lineups into DraftKings? Uh, there's there's a lot of different ways to do this, and it's very straightforward, but I think it can be a little bit daunting for people right out of the gate. So I'm going to go through my process as if it's a Tuesday afternoon and I'm registering for my contest. I'll walk you through everything. So the first thing that I do is I'll go over to DraftKings and I'll find the contest that, that I want to play, right? Um, so let's go to NFL here. Let's enter, uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to play. I'm going to choose the main slate here and find some contests that I want to enter. So like this power sweep is something that I play every week. So I'll go ahead and I'll make a lineup. We'll just pretend that I don't have one here. Um, so go ahead. You can go ahead and make your lineup. Grab the lineup that, that, uh, that you make. This is the one that I just made. And I'll hit enter for... 150 bucks here. Um, what I'll do too is I'll actually just bulk enter this and grab it a few more times and max that. And then I'll do a uh, another one. There's the, uh, see if we can find one that's actually like a 20 max or something that has a couple more contests in it. I guess, honestly, I guess it really doesn't matter. Like here, I play this power sweep too. Uh, I play this spy. I play this red zone. And then I also play that 20 max contest uh, as well. I honestly just cannot remember what it's called for the life of me. Anyways, that'll work. So you guys, that's enough. I'll hit submit. There's other contests that I play, but just for the time sake of this video. Great. So now I've entered this lineup in all the contests that I want. Well, what I'll do now is go back to Fantasy Labs and build all of my lineups, right? So let's say I really like Russell Wilson this week, and I think Herbert's in a good spot, and I want to use Dak Prescott, and I'm going to go to my optimizer. I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to choose one of my pro templates here and I'm playing in smaller field GPPs. So that's great. I'll apply these settings. And obviously there's a lot more that goes into this than what I just did. Um, so I have 15 entries here, so I'm just going to make 15 lineups and hit generate. And so the point here is I'm just going to get some lineups um, to show you guys what the process looks like. And I'll say, okay, these all look great. Um, I can tag these lineups if I want to. So like when I do have that 20 max build, what I would do is actually just assign these 20 max and I can export them individually. Um, so that's something that I really like to do as well. So I can add that tag, but what I'll, what I will do is just save these lineups and now they're in the, my lineups page here, which is great. So now all I have to do is go back to DraftKings, go underneath my lineups, go to edit entries, and I need to download this CSV for the main slate. And so I click download right here, and now I have this DraftKings CSV. And I'll go back to Fantasy Labs, and I will download these 15 lineups. I'll show you what this looks like. And this is where the tagging comes into place. You could have stuff for uh, each individual power sweep that you're playing. You could have stuff for your 20 max. You could have one subset for your 150 max millimaker. You could have your cash games, like your head-to-head -head lineups. You could even make um, higher ceiling, like three-man and five-man lineups, like, like maybe one pivot off of your head-to-head -head or 50-50 lineup. So there's a lot that you can do with the labeling in the, in the My Lineups as you're building, which is something that I use uh, every week. But I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these lineups and download this CSV. 
And you also notice too, we give you uh, a, a way to do it, but I'm going to show you here just with the CSVs. Awesome. So this is the Fantasy Labs lineups that it just gave me with all their player IDs. And this is the um, this is the DraftKings CSV. So you can see DK entries. All you have to do is just grab these, copy them, go over here, paste them, and it replaces that um, that lineup, right? Or it replaces all of all of those lineups. So now I'll just save as, and I like to just label this like this is V1. Um, I'll just go ahead and put that on my desktop. And now I'll go back to DraftKings. I'm gonna upload that newly saved CSV. There we go. I've uploaded all 15 entries. So you'll notice now when I go to lineups and under my upcoming lineups, I have all of these sorry, there's uh, eSports there. Let's just do my NFL. And now you'll notice I have more than just that one Russell Wilson lineup, right? I've got all of those Justin Herbert and Dak Prescott. Did I say Justin Wilson? Russell Wilson. Uh, there's some Stafford in there, so on and so forth. So um, that's one way where you can easily just make a shell of a lineup, just kind of go through, click, make sure it doesn't suck because, you know, what if you fall asleep or you forget or whatever? Um, and then it's a, it makes it really easy to just export those lineups. Now you can do the exact same thing again. So this isn't just like you have to use these lineups. You could obviously go in here and hand edit some of these lineups uh, if you know if you want to. So if I just didn't want to play Henderson in this one lineup and I wanted to use Mike Mike Davis, awesome. I can assign that lineup to the one contest that it's in, close it out. And you could do that a lot in here. The other thing that you can do is go back to the edit entries here. You can download that exact same slate again. So I'll go ahead and grab that file. You'll notice here it is. Now with all of those, remember before it was just a bunch of Russell Wilson. So you'll see that everything has changed in those lineups. And I can go back to DraftKings, or excuse me, back to, to Fantasy Labs here, and I can generate new lineups. So like, let's say I really like, oh man, I got to have all the Jalen Hurts this week. So I'm going to lock him and I'm going to make 15 Jalen Hurts lineups because we're either going to win all the money or we're going to lose all the money, right? And so if you want to do something like that, you can make 100% Jalen Hurts lineups. You can assign these a tag and call them Jalen Locke or like whatever, right? Add that tag to those, save those lineups. And now you'll notice I have 30 lineups in the my lineups, which is really, really cool. But if I display the lineup tags here, I can just grab my Jalen Locke and that will allow me to export and download just the 15 Jalen. So notice here, I can just export the Jalen Locke. So like this is what I'll do when I'm building for my 20 max. And I'll go ahead and, and download those. And just for example's sake, I'll show you what you can do. I'm just gonna grab a couple of them and just replace a couple of these lineups. Now let's go ahead and save this main, save as. This can be V2. Save that guy to my desktop. Now you can obviously just overwrite the file. That's that's fine as well. I find it uh, beneficial to have those older files for what if, just in case. Maybe you want to grab one lineup out of the older file and replace it without having to do import exports. So you just copy paste. So now if we go back to upload this CSV, we'll grab the version two. And you'll notice I should have probably 45% or something, um, you know, Jalen Hurts throughout these lineups. Uh, so let's go find Jalen. There he is, 40% Jalen Hurts. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen. So you see it's replaced a handful of those Jalen lineups. Um, but I still have the DAC and some Justin ones because all I did was replace just a few, right? I didn't, I didn't replace all of them. I just made a few. Um, 
with and just copy and pasted those lineups over those specific fields. And so that's it's really nice too. Like obviously you can see here in your DraftKings CSV what your what your actual lineups are. So I can see this is like the like this was the shell that I made. I just make one for the Millie Maker. I make a shell and then I'll go through and I'll reserve all of the stuff. So you can see you've got your three max, you've got the larger field and the smaller field. Um, or sorry, the, the smaller field and the larger field three max there, you can see like there's this um, FFWC qualifier. So like I might want to go back into fantasy labs and hand builds for the qualifier. I mean, I hand build for all of those types of contests, but if I'm just playing this qualifier and I think everyone's going to be on the late slate, I might grab a guy like Stafford and pair him with cup and go back to a little bit of flop lag on Pittman. And since this is a small field, I'll actually just onslaught with Woods for this lineup too. Um, and this is more lineup construction process than it is import export CSV. And now I can just hit optimize here, or I can continue to go through and continue to hand build and like, look, great leverage with Ezekiel Elliott. Like this lineup is gonna be super unique, probably not something you need to play in that small of a field. Um, so like I would definitely move away from Higby and and CD Lamb here and probably Elliot and like I'm okay with Kamara and then I'll just continue building right so just keep on continuing in here and keep building for guys that you think are in good spots you can then save this lineup under my lineups export it and copy and paste it over that one specific fantasy football world championship qualifier re-import it and keep all your other lineups the same or you can also just go to DraftKings, find the contest and, and hand change it in here so but i really just wanted to show you guys how straightforward how easy it is to use this my lineups and you know what i love to do too you can come in here and if you're you're looking at some of these lineups you can edit a player right out of the lineup so like i just hit edit on jalen rager and i notice okay i've got how much forty one hundred dollars to spend on a wide receiver so let's go find a wide receiver that I really like for $4,100. Great, Manuel Sanders. Awesome, save that lineup, right? So now you can see it's been saved under the My Lineup. So if I go back to it, uh, you've got that, that Emmanuel Sanders lineup in here as well. And if you, if you want to, you can search just by typing in Sanders and finding all of your Emmanuel Sanders uh, entries. This is something that you can do for instance, week one was a great week uh, as an example. I had a lot of Mahomes stacks and they all had Odell Beckham Jr. in it, or not all of them, but I think three of the four did. So I had to go through and I went and I simply just found those lineups by just typing in Odell and then editing them right here, downloading those files and re-uploading to DraftKings in the CSV. Makes it super, super easy. We've got our re-optimizer here as well. So you can re-optimize these lineups based off of news, which is really nice. This is super helpful for things like NBA too, but it's great for football. This is a really great place to be in DraftKings, or excuse me, in Fantasy Labs. Oh, you know what? Here, let me show you how to do this. If I want to upload my entries, I like to do this as well. I think it, it gives you a very great picture of your exposures. You're like, oh my gosh, I have $1,200 on, on Najee. Yeah, that's a lot of money on the chalk. Maybe I want to move away from that. Or maybe it's fine because you have a lot of different head-to-heads uh, -head or whatever it might be, right? And you're like, okay, Devonta Smith, awesome. Let his team in air yards. Amari Cooper, really strong play. It's just a great way to see your exposure based off of dollar amount. Uh, if you're not you know, playing 300 lineups across you know, 250 max subsets, this is how I prefer to look at it. I like to, if you're, if you're multi entering a lot, like large field MME, 150 plus lineups, obviously looking at it by exposure percentage, I think is great because you have a much larger portfolio that you're managing. But when you're, when you're somebody like me, who's playing smaller fields, a little bit higher dollar uh, and less lineups, I like to look at it based off of the buy-ins just so I can see really who's making and breaking my week. So that's something that I like to do as well. And once again, just to show you that, that was under upload entries and you just grab the DraftKings uh, CSV, which I already showed you, you how to export. So really great way to kind of view everything 
and manage your lineups in a much more efficient and so many more options. It's so much easier to edit a player here like Marquez Callaway with all of this data in front of you rather than doing it in the DraftKings My Lineups page where you're like game log surfing, uh, which I just don't think is, is a super plus EV thing to do. So hopefully that answers a lot of your guys' questions on how to export, import, reserve, and manage multiple lineups. It doesn't matter if it's three or 3,000. If it's 3,000, good luck. But uh, you can see this makes it so much easier to do. So this is something that I definitely recommend. Uh, you guys give a check at fantasylabs.com and you can always sign up in the link directly below if this is something that looks interesting. Check out our models, our optimizers. We've already got a ton of content up for our week two slate. And uh, with that, run good in week two and I'll see you all in the next one.